I know it's getting close to uh, the beginning of training camp and everybody's getting excited. Obviously, you get to get back out there with your players, but you just told us that you do a little training camp challenge. I see you got the lip sweater going on. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so we, uh, you know, we, we talk all the time about having fun, so we mean it. And so we, we have a challenge among our coaching staff, support staff, uh, and our players of whoever wants to do it. Not everybody has to, but uh, we try to see who can grow the best looking stash through fall camp. And so uh, we report August uh, 2nd. Uh, and so I got a little head start on it. I think uh, it might be due to Top Gun 2. I think uh, I watched that and it just gave me excitement. I was ready to get started. I love it. I love the stash. <laughs> Yours is coming in nice. Curious, how's Grayson McCall's stash? You know what? He's uh, His will look nice. He, he <laughs> Thing with Grayson, you can see he's, he'll have a mullet. He'll have his hair grows extremely well. I don't know what it, what it is. It must be the water from where he's from, but he'll have a good looking stash here in the next three weeks. <laughs> well, grows a good stash, and he also is pretty good on the football <laughs> yeah. field. Um, we know what he means to this offense, just his presence and leadership. But who else should we keep an eye on on this offense, coach, that you really think makes an impact? Well, I, I would tell you uh, three people: uh, Braden Bennett, a running back for us, who was a freshman last year, was. Uh, did a tremendous job as a freshman. He's got some uh, this great speed. Uh, he's a track guy. I, th I think he's going to have a tremendous year. Another running back, Reese White, who uh, got banged up last year, but I think he's going to be uh, do a really good job for us. And then Sam Peatney, who's a receiver uh, that transferred in uh, to us. He had a, he had a great spring. I'm excited about him and and uh, his potential, what he can do for us. Now, we talk about these offenses. They've been very good. You're an offensive-minded coach, but the defenses at Coastal Carolina have been good as well. Now, I played for an offensive-minded coach in Urban Meyer, and during practice, he would just leave us alone unless there was an issue with the defense, and he was with us 24-7. So when you approach practices, are you more hands-on or hands-off with the defense, and what are your expectations for that group this season? You know, I'm more hands off. Uh, our coaching staff, uh, led by our coordinator, Coach Staggs, they do a phenomenal job over there. The main thing I try to do is not mess it up. You know, the main, I want them to make sure they play with unbelievable effort and keep things simple, and they do a great job of that. So, uh, you know, I'm down there. I try to watch some, but I, I'm more on the other side of the ball. Uh, but uh, we feel good that we've played really good defense, and I think, I think coming up that we have a chance to be the best overall defense. Uh, that we've had since our time being here. And we've had some really good defenses, some good players, but I, I think this year you'll see us play more players than we have uh, in a long time. I think that we have that type of depth and that type of talent. I'm excited about uh, the product that we'll have a chance to put out there uh, this season on the defensive side of the ball.